Hi everyone. Today's lesson is going to be inside corners. I'm going to be showing you some ways to turn corners that will make nice, crisp, clean corners. I already put my pattern on the piece and I cut around the edge on it. I drilled the holes and I took sandpaper and smoothed them out so they don't catch on the bottom of the table. And I did a couple practice cuts just to get the feel of things. I'm using half inch maple and I have a number two blade. And I'm going to start with this shape. This is one of the first diagrams that I showed you in the lesson. And I'm going to start by coming down right into the corner. And then I'm going to back up into the hole, go to the side. Turn the piece. And that's going to remove that little wedge right there. And that's going to give me room to turn around, to turn the blade. Without turning the blade, excuse me. And I'm going to lean the blade against the edge and continue cutting. And I'm going to go right up to the corner, back up again take another little wedge out. And there's a little piece removed. So I can turn the piece freely. Right when we get to the corner, we're going to turn, pivot, take off that little wedge, and we're going to meet up at the original corner. Now it was a little awkward for me because the camera's in the way of my left arm. You could see that the corners came out nice and sharp there. So give that a try. Okay, the next segment we're going to do is we're going to do this really sharp corner and these are obtuse angles and they're each done a little differently and I think I showed you how to do that in the second set of diagrams on lesson seven so I'm going to thread my blade this time I'm going to enter at the obtuse angle I'm just going to go to the edge very, very deep angle. So I'm going to go to the end of it, pull back the saw a little, and then I'm going to turn into the waist area because the front of the blade is what cuts. So it won't matter if it cuts the waist area. If you turn the other way, you're going to cut your good part of your teeth. Back the blade in, and then continue cutting. Now since this is a wide angle, we don't have to come in front of it and shave it like we did to make the little triangles. It's a small enough blade where I can just turn my teeth slightly. Continue on to here. Now this angle is a little under 90 degrees. So what I want to do for a nice pointy corner is go in front of it like we did the last time. Cut that little piece off. Again, I can't turn real good with my left hand with the camera, but lean it back up and come to our meeting place. Okay. And you can see there, it's a very sharp angle. There's no spin holes there or there. Okay.
Give it a try. There's lots of chances to try it.